What the heck? Some weird stuff. So today I decided to go to a different thrift store and not Value Village. It was so much cleaner and so much more organized down the aisles. Like just look at how perfectly spaced out these lamps are. I went to the store alone today and I was a little bit shy speaking to my camera alone. So most of this vlog is gonna be voiced over. I probably should have bought this since Roy played for this team. So pretty. Who else played the recorder? I guess I've acquired a new interest in tea sets, especially the way they have them laid out here. I actually love little tea sets. Like, just look how cool. I've also been finding a lot of clown themed pieces, and I don't like clowns. This is pretty cool. So I guess this is an old curling iron. Like look how small the ringlets of your hair would be if you curled with it. That's crazy to me. And even the outlet, like it just looks so old. Is this supposed to be an elephant? Like what is this? Okay, I actually love angels. Anything to do with angels. Just noticed some really cool books here. Any thrift store you go to, I feel like I can guarantee you that there's going to be a lot of books. So I'm not a book reader, but I definitely used to love these books, especially anything with a lot of pictures, but I was so intrigued by these books when I was younger. So we recently renovated a room in our basement to be a chill zone slash gaming room. And I'm always on the hunt for a coffee table that I can DIY and flip for that room. And I envision this table to have books on it so that when people come over, there's something to look at. So I got this book for my future coffee table that I don't have yet, but I really wanted this book, so I got it. But now looking back at the footage, I'm wondering if the Guinness World Record book would have been a better choice. Coffee makers are always something you can find here. I feel like these match pretty good with my new plates. I think I'm gonna get them. They're pretty nice. I didn't know what some of these things were here, but really cool to look at.
I feel like I can guess what these are used for, but this second one is like, unlike anything I've ever seen, actually. Also, trying to open things with one hand is very difficult. I feel like this is a nice comforter set, but I just saw one brand new at Superstore for $40. So I don't know about that price. I like how antique looking this is. Oh, that's cool too. Kind of like this, it's like your typical piggy bank. <laughs> Look at all this party supplies. I don't know if it's like more worth it than the dollar store. Might find like different things than the dollar store. More unique things. The problem with a lot of the furniture at the thrift store is that it's always so big and heavy, like how would I get this home even if I did want it? I guess this is some sort of macrame hanger, but it's so big. I spotted this table from farther away, and once it got close, I realized it was actually sold, but this table probably would have been good to flip. I think it's hard to see perspective here, but this desk was huge. like a lock on it okay how cool i mean one dollar per clothing piece for kids that's pretty good i'm literally tempted to buy this and i don't even have a kid like, this is so cute it's like so retro looking Wait, do I get it for my future kid? Okay, this is the only reason I'm leaving this jacket. Listen. Because it's so old, it's doing this. Like, no. But, like, otherwise, I would have got it. Tons of bridesmaids dresses or prom dresses even. I definitely had one of these growing up, so this toy is definitely nostalgic for me. Here's 
here we go again with one of those things that I would never buy but always intrigued by what on earth this is so if anyone could tell me what this is that would be lovely I definitely recommend coming to a thrift store if you want a tool belt this is where I got Rory's Are these like old curling brooms? What are these? I'm definitely gonna look this up when I get home. So I did research these and I think that is what I was looking at. I do believe they are curling brooms. I was surprised to see that these old ones go for such a high price. I know these ones look like they're in way better condition than the ones I saw. Kind of crazy to see how the game has changed as well. My mom found me my Callaway golf shoes at the thrift store, which is nice because those can be quite expensive for the amount of time that I actually golf. These look like handmade bandanas for dogs maybe, so cute. These were just some toys that I feel like I recognized from my childhood and I feel like we're very popular back in the day. I'm almost positive I owned the same farmhouse as well. So I was not leaving this store until I found a toy for my dog. Last time I went out, I didn't get her one and I felt so bad. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll show myself giving it to her. She loved it. Now that we're educated on the dolls, I feel like it's a must for me to go look at them. Super common for thrift stores to have lots of board games and puzzles like this. I'm always curious what the story behind these fur coats are. Like, look at how nicely made it is and the lining on the inside. It's even got their initials on the inside. You can even see on the tag it was made in Winnipeg, Canada, which is kind of cool. but I actually learned a tip from my foot doctor when I played sports. If a shoe can fully fold like this, not supportive. But they're kind of cool looking. How much are they? Mm, no. Okay. You're just gonna do it from there? Yeah. No, you don't wanna do it. No, no. My dog always knows when there's a toy for her. What's that? Is that for you? <laughs> Lyra, come back. Lyra, Lyra, Lyra come. come. Lyra, come. Lyra, come. Let me see. Oh, so cute. <laughs> And this was the haul, minus the stuffy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>